it's Patty from Relatively Refined. In today's video, I'm going to share some spectacular New England fall foliage pictures, take you to look at mums and pumpkins, share with you a dilemma I'm experiencing, and also share a free thrift find that I repurposed into a lovely table centerpiece and a few little incidentals along the way. So grab yourself a cup of warm apple cider and enjoy the video. I also wanted to say welcome to our many new subscribers. Thank you so much. And to our faithful watchers, thank you. And we really appreciate your support with our channel. Here are four pumpkins that I picked up recently. And my plan is to put two of them in my urns. But let me just show you my problem. This is where they're going. And look at that. Look at the flowers in my urns. Despite having several heavy frosts, I still, my geraniums just won't quit. So this is gonna be tricky because I'm not going to just throw out these geraniums for my pumpkins. So I'm not sure what to do. So I apologize for the glare on my black countertops, but I just wanted to show you this. This is a scarf that I was dropping actually some bins off at one of the local churches that has a thrift store, and they had a box of free items just outside the door, and this was in it. And this is wool and it is too i really can't wear like this kind of like itchy wool um, as a scarf i would lose my mind but i thought it would be so pretty um, i just need to wash it and press it but i thought it would be so pretty as a table runner it's kind of just the right length and it has this um so it's tweed and then it has a bit of like the herringbone pattern here on the ends and then a little bit of fringing right here. So it kind of has all the pretty elements of fall and it is the right colors for how it can stay right through Halloween and fall. I just loved it. I think it's going to work great. I just have a, I mean, there's a few little issues. I see something here. I can just trim that. Um, but I think it'll be so pretty. So I'll keep you posted. I'm going to go throw it in, launder it, and press it, and see how I make out. Uh, so stay tuned. Okay, so here's the scarf, aka table runner. And don't mind the wrinkled tablecloth that's underneath it. I washed the scarf and I'm kind of block drying it. And so what that means is you just kind of spread it out with your hands. And if you put something underneath it that's soft, it doesn't spring back. So it kind of sticks to this fabric underneath. And so it will hold its shape. You may have seen that like with sweaters you will lay them flat on like a padded ironing board or a towel and you just spread it out so that it block dries. But I think it's cute and I think it'll be a cute little table runner. So I'll just sort of stand back here. I mean, it's on the table with a tablecloth, sun shining in, so it's hard to see. But again, obviously the tablecloth is a wrinkled mess. Pay no attention to that. Um, once this is dried, then I'll remove the tablecloth and it will be a centerpiece. But I think it's very cute. Now, I'm always concerned about which direction to go to. I like to follow the way the table goes, so like this way. But because we 
um, put placemats and um, plates and stuff down, I feel like the other way is less obtrusive. So anyway, we'll see. I'll play around with it. But just to let you know, it did wash up and it didn't disintegrate and it is just block drying now. I'm going to head to a soccer game while that dries and I'll report when I get back. I saw this box on my steps and um, I opened it up and I saw it said fragile on it so I knew what it was but it is this covered dish which my sister Paula thrifted and in one of her hauls she said she was uh, going to send it to me and it arrived today in perfect shape so my table runner aka scarf is still on here it is not dry and i put stuff on it i'm trying to hold it in place so it doesn't wrinkle um, again please ignore this wrinkled tablecloth this is simply here to as a block so that i can block dry that scarf anyway this i thought looks so pretty on the black and white houndstooth scarf. I say houndstooth and also herringbone edging. But if you look closely, you can see the black and gold chain design, which kind of matches the West Elm plates that I hauled, which I will show. But how pretty does this look on table. So if you can envision this tablecloth being either not here or significantly less wrinkled, I think it looks pretty with the black and white houndstooth scarf as a runner and a covered dish with the black and white. And there's my silver candlestick. So there's lots of variations on a theme you can do when you settle on a color choice. And to me, black and silver and gold and cream are really wonderful fall and Halloween colors. So again, I'll keep you posted on this table runner. I am officially heading out now to the soccer game. Um, also, I just want to show you. At the pumpkin stand yesterday, there was this, and we've already honked into it, but there was this cheese bread. I have no idea, but it feels so soft. And I feel like with bread and cheese, you can't really go wrong. This is also some fudge, which oh, will slide over. Um, and I have some chili in the crock pot. So when we get back from the soccer game tonight, it'll be pretty late. Um, we can have some chili and bread. And then hopefully this will be dry and I can set it up and let you know kind of how it, how it worked. All right, see you soon. Okay, so here is the table runner the next day. I inserted some clips with the, um, with the Halloween centerpiece, but here's a more everyday look. Again, sorry the wrinkles in the tablecloth. I did press it, but it is an uphill battle. But anyway, I just wanted you to see how cute the scarf works as a table runner. It really looks great. It is just the right length and it cleaned up and uh, block dried nicely. And I'm pretty happy with that. So for free, I have this super cute Halloween table runner. And also I just wanted to show you really quickly this. If you watched an earlier thrift find of the month, this Mariposa metal napkin basket was one of mine. And I just put in a package of um, cocktail napkins. They're actually still in the plastic. I haven't even taken them out. I picked these up at TJ Maxx and I thought they were really cute with the black and the cream and the little pops of orange. And if you purchase a Mariposa uh, napkin dish new, I thrifted this, but you can get charms to go on them. Actually, you can still get charms whether you purchased it new. They're sold separately and um, they sit on top and I'm sure they have some really cute Halloween ones. I just put this pumpkin, which is obviously the wrong, the wrong scale, but I think it looks cute there. And uh, so 
just wanted to let you know that I'm pretty happy with my table runner and please keep your eyes out for some really cute houndstooth um, scarves, wool scarves. They make really cute table runners and if you get the right color scheme, it can really carry you fall. Um, I'm sure they have some pretty bright colors you could use in spring, but this one is gonna be my October one for Halloween and fall. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.